Amen. If we want to see the victory in our own lives, amen, we've got to line ourselves up with him. 1 John chapter 5, 4 and 5. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Victory is in the faith. You may be seen. Whatever victory that we would experience in our lives, it is inextricably tied up with our faith. God shares with us in this letter, he wraps up, he comes to a close with this celebratory note uh, that we can have victory in our lives. As he, as he talks to us, in this fifth chapter, and he shares with us, he talks about victory, and he shares this word several different times within just a couple of verses. It's the same word, victory, and overcome. It's the same word, Matt, Nick K. Um, and, and he says, for whatever is born of God, overcome. And then he says, and this is the victory yes. that has overcome. And then he says in verse 5, who is he who overcomes? And so this repetition, both in an aorist tense, uh, relating to our present state based on our past actions, he looks at us as overcomers. Amen. And he then takes it to the place of our future. And he talks about the fact that we are in a position to constantly be overcoming. Yes, yes, yes. And with all of this talk about having overcome and overcoming in the future, uh, it, it ought to lead us to want to know how we can get in on this idea of victory. Yes. It ought to put us in a place where we would want to know how can our lives represent that of an overcomer rather than one who feels defeated, washed up, lost with no hope. And my brothers and sisters, our theme we share in this celebratory moment uh, is that you and I can have victory in our lives. But in order for us to do that, we must also have faith in our lives. When you look at these first five verses, there is this constant repetitive theme of believe. This idea of faith. My brothers and sisters, there is this thought of being born again, being born of God. And so when we look at it, they are in turn tied together. They are linked up at the hip. And so if we are to experience the ability to go through life with victory, then we must be born again. We must yes. be children of faith. Yes, yes, yes. Faith is important in our lives. Uh, we don't all believe in something, but most importantly, we don't believe in the right things. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, Pastor. So, when we walk in this room, I'm looking around the room. We've been in here before. 
And so without hesitation or reservation, you all just simply walk to your pew where you would sit down and you just simply let all your weight all right. fall backwards as you leaned into your position and sat on this chair. Yes, yes. And you may not have given much thought to it, but you did. Yes. yes. Amen. And time and again, as we got up and we sat back down, once and again, you would put your weight yes. on these pews without any reservation. Mm -hmm. That is an act of faith mm -hmm. on your part. Yes. All right. Where you trusted that the quality of the wood was no different than it was on last week or week before last and that it will continue to do the same thing that it did then for you on today. And my brothers and sisters, faith in our lives become inherent. It becomes a practical part of our daily living and our lifestyle. When we get to the car, most of us don't initially raise the hood, check the battery terminals, and, and hit on them or knock them around with a wrench, and then get inside our vehicles and see what happens. No, we go first to the car, put our key in the ignition, or if you have one of the newer models, you just simply push the button and you expect to hear uh, the humming of the engine yes. just moments later. Yes. You yes. just by faith trust that it's going to happen. Yes. Yes. You don't have to even be a mechanic. You don't know how all of that stuff under the hood works, but you just trust that when you touch the button the, that the power from the battery would send a charge to the starter uh, yes. and that it will ultimately turn it around. Yes. Yes. And cause the engine not to fire. All right, all right. Yes. 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 Faith. Faith, Faith is, is ever present in our lives. But my brothers and sisters, I, I want to tell you that, that there is a third ingredient in this text all right. uh, that has a counteraction on our faith. That that would oftentimes try to tear down our faith would try to destroy and obliterate our faith. No, not our faith in sitting on these pews. Not our faith in whether or not our car will stop, but our faith in the eternal, powerful, almighty God. Yes, it's right here in the text. And that, my brothers and sisters, is the world. Yes, uh, in verse 4, he talks about, and this is the victory that has overcome the world. And so if there is, in fact, a need to overcome the world, then that would suggest to us that, that the world is trying to hold us down. Yes, yes, yes. it is. The world is trying to keep us from being our best. The world is trying to keep us from excelling and exceeding and making progress in our lives. Yes. Yes. And so, my brothers and sisters, if you've been paying attention lately, you'll look around you and discover that the world is messed up in yes. many ways. Yes. yes. I mean, every week uh, that we come here, there is something that has affected uh, us on a on a stage of life. Uh, it's on our news, uh, and, and it's on our radios, uh, and, and it causes us to come here and to pray about it. If it's not a fire that's burning down a town, trapping individuals in cars, Yes, uh, uh, trapping individuals in their homes. Yes. Then it's somebody who uh, is unstable in their minds and have walked into a, a bar uh, where folk are listening to music uh, and gunning them down. My Lord, my Lord. If it's not that, it's somebody who's using their vehicle as, as a weapon uh, and driving through a crowd and mowing down folk. We look into the 
world and we discover and realize that the world in many respects is messed up. First John chapter 2 in this same letter of John. Verse 16 says this, for all that is in the world. And he goes on to describe what's in the world. The lust of the flesh. Yes, yes. The lust of the eyes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the pride of life. That's right. He says, it's not of the Father, but it's of the world. Yes. yes, my brothers and sisters, that pretty much summarizes what is going on around us and that, my brothers and sisters, kind of helps us uh, to see why it is that folk do what they do and live the way they live. Yes, yes. yes uh, it's this flesh uh, that we're enclosed in. Yes. yes, that has carnal desires. It, it's these eyes that are lustful in nature, uh, that sees stuff and it wants it, that causes us to envy what other folk got. Uh, and we, because the Joneses got a new ride, we got to get a new ride. Can I get a witness? Uh, yes, uh, because our cousin got a new house. Uh, yes, we got to outdo them uh, and try to get a bigger house. Uh, can I get a witness up in here? Yes, uh, and, and so he says, uh, between these three, uh, we can summarize what is going on uh, in the world all around us. Yes. Yes. yes, ever since the fall of man and original sin was introduced into the world, things uh, aren't the way they used to be. <clears throat> yes. yes, God made it, put his stamp of approval on it and said it's yes, good. It Yes, uh, but when we look around, we see tribulation. Yes. When we look around, we see disruption. Uh, we see dismay. We see things that are falling apart. Uh, we don't have to even go far. We can just look at ourselves in the mirror, and we ain't what we used to be. Can I get a witness up in here? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, used to be able, uh, yes, uh, on the spur of the moment, uh, just run miles after miles. Uh, yes, uh, used to be uh, able uh, to play volleyball, uh, yeah, and spike it hard over the net. Can I get a witness in here? Uh, yes, used to be uh, able uh, to do a whole lot of stuff, uh, to stay up all night, get up the next morning. Uh, but I tell you, those days, uh, Ain't what it used to be. Uh, yes, we, we live in, in a world that is shadow. Yes. Yes. Uh, matter of fact, uh, the world got so much going on that God had to send a flood uh -huh. to get man's attention. Uh, yes, uh, because man was strained from him. Yes, uh, he had to scatter men over the face of the earth and confuse the language uh, due to man's futile attempts to compete with him. Oh yes, uh, the world is hostile to God. Yes, yes uh, now I'm talking about the world at its core. Uh, yes, uh, the world in raw form. Yes, uh, John 15, 19 uh, helps us identify with that when he says, if you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yes. Yet because you're not of the world, uh, because I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Right. Yeah, it's just hostile toward God, hostile yes. towards the things of God. And, and if you don't believe me, just go on your job and just say, praise the Lord. Well, uh, <laughs> Can I give a witness? Uh, yes. Uh, you just go down to the lunchroom, uh, bow your head up, uh, for your meal. Yes. 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 Uh, and, and it won't be long before somebody starts whispering. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Who does she think she is? Yes. yes uh, who does he think that he is? Uh, some sort of holy roller. Yes. Yes. Uh, and the, the world, the world is not only hostile toward God, uh, but the world is passing away. It's just a fleeing reality. Yes, uh, 1 John 2.17 says it this way, and the world is passing away. Yes, yes. yes uh, 
it, it, it's on its way out. Uh, yes, you look at everything around us. Uh, the atmosphere is changing and fluctuating. Uh, it's on its way out. That, that's all that it's saying. Uh, is that is that it's on its way out. It's time is coming. Ah, uh, yes, to pass. Uh, but I got good news for you. Uh, so this world is coming uh, to pass. God said, I got a new heaven. Yeah, and a new earth. Can I get away with this? Uh, yes, I, I don't want to get ahead of myself, uh, but it's passing away. Yes. yes, my brothers and sisters, we got to be careful about this world. Yeah. Yes, uh, it, it, it'll try to pull us in, and then it'll try to take us down. Yes, That's why John chapter 17, verse 15 says, uh, I, I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. Yes, yes uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, yes, just like Satan did with Eve in the garden, uh, yes, crap up on her, uh, caught her by surprise, uh, began to stir up a conversation with her, uh, yes, uh, and began to introduce to her uh, the lust of the flesh. Yes, yes lust of the eye. Oh, yes, uh, and the boastful pride of life. Yes, yes. yes uh, look at this fruit. Uh, yes, uh, it, it, it looks good. Uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, look at it. Uh, I'm sure it tastes good. Uh, yes, uh, but not only that, uh, yes, uh, if you eat of it, uh, yes, God's been holding back on you. Uh, you can be like him. Uh, you can be a little dog. Come on. Yes. Yes, uh, lust of the flesh, yeah. lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Yes, sir. yes uh, my brothers and sisters, I don't have a whole lot of time, but I want you to understand this now. Uh, yes, uh, that, that, that it was that way also with Jesus uh, after he had fasted 40 days. Uh, yes, the Spirit of the Lord would lead him up. Uh, Right. into a mountain uh, right. and it was there that Satan would approach him uh, yes, yes uh, and Satan would tempt him uh, yes. yes if you are who you say you are uh -huh. yes, uh, yes. Uh, if, if you can do what you say you can yes. do uh, yes, yes. yes uh, if the reputation uh, yes uh, is all of that and a bag of chips uh, yes. yes why don't you take this stone yes. uh, and turn it into bread yeah. Yeah. can I get a witness yeah. yes uh, and they tried to tempt Jesus, uh, yes, with the lust of the flesh, yes, yes, with the lust of the eye, mm -hmm. and with the pride of life. Oh, you yeah. get home, you read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, my yeah. brothers and sisters, they came uh, yeah. for Jesus. Yeah. Yes, the world came for him. Yes, yeah. yes, they came for him in the garden uh, oh, of Eden uh, with creation uh, by attacking Adam and Eve. Uh, they yeah. came him. Yeah. Yes, they came for him through his servants. Uh, yeah. Yes, Moses. Uh, yeah. Yes, tried to kill him off. Yeah. They came for God. Yes, uh, through Abraham, his servant. Uh, yes, they came for him. Yeah. They came for him uh, through David. Uh, yeah. Yes, they came for him. Yeah. They came for him uh, through his servant Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They yeah. came for him. I'm just Yes, he conquered them. Yes. 
He overcame them. Yes. That's what Revelation 17, 14 was getting at. When he said, and the Lamb will overcome them. Yes, God's got it all in control. Yes, he's been overcoming them from the garden. Oh, yes, to eternity. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, and this is the promise I want to leave with you. Is that just as God came, as, as the world came for Jesus, and he overcame them, he leaves you and I this promise. And the promise is that our faith can make us overcome us too. Yes, our faith can tie us up to his victory. Yes, the victory is in Jesus. We, we already sang that. The victory is in Jesus. Yes, uh, because who he is yeah. in us. All right. 
Yes. He says, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Yes. yes. You want to be an overcomer? Yes. Have faith. Yes. yes. You want to have overcome? Have faith. Yes. You want to overcome on tomorrow? Have faith. Yes, uh, we've got to keep on believing. Smith says it like this. He said, St. John says first, uh, it's conquering uh, because of the fight uh, is in progress. Then that conquered uh, because the triumph uh, is assured. Yes, yes, uh, we can conquer uh, on an ongoing basis. Uh, yes, uh, as conquering uh, individuals. Uh, yes, uh, but we can live uh, as triumphant individuals uh, because of that past uh, assurance that we have in him. In case you missed it, uh, let me say it again like this. Uh, yes, uh, he did it for mom. Yes, uh, he did it for grandma. Uh, yes, he did it for auntie. He did it for big mama. He did it for nanny. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, he did it for papa. He did it for granddaddy. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh,